Hello, hello, Amira Alvarez here, founder and CEO of The Unstoppable Woman. I'm all sweaty from my run just now. Day, oh goodness, I think it's 29 now. Uh, I have to check my calendar. All that to say, I went out fiercely today, running uh, faster from the, the get-go, really working on raising my speed, bettering my best, all of that. And I thought, I, you know, it was hard, all that, and I stuck with it, and I thought I killed it, right? I thought I totally slayed it, and I used a little run app, and I checked out my stats afterwards, the numbers, and it showed that I ran faster than a, many of the runs, but not as fast. It's not my fastest run. A few days ago, three, four days ago, there's a faster run, more mileage, faster times. And it made me think of this idea of making love to the numbers. This is one of those things that I, I coach my clients on all the time. Let's look at the actual results. Let's track the numbers. How many sales calls are you having? What were the results? What's your conversion rate? How many reach outs are you doing? Um, what are your revenue numbers, right? These are all business things, okay? How much time off did you take? If that's important to you, you gotta track that. Otherwise, you're gonna go, um, you're going to fog out on it. This is the same reason people who do uh, nutritional, you know, weight, weight releasing work uh, talk about uh, weighing yourself every day or at least weekly or some recognition of, you know, where you are at because the numbers don't lie. Okay. And what happens, as you can see from my example this morning is that we think we're doing better or we think we're doing worse than we actually are and we have to look we have to track and we have to look at what is actually occurring to know if we need to course correct adjust and and hit our targets so tracking is one thing two knowing what your target is is the second part oftentimes i see people with very unclear goals. So as part of the, the commitment challenge, you'll notice that I, I nudge people to get clear. What is their actual commitment right now? How will you know what done looks like? What do you have to do on the daily for you to feel like mm, that was done so that your brain doesn't squirm out? Your mind doesn't look for a different option or an excuse or a reason not to do it. So if you have a goal in your life or your business, Identify what does done look like and put a number to it. So like for my running, this is pretty straightforward and simple. This is not going to sound um, innovative in this context because we're used to it in this context. I have uh, how many miles I want to increase each 30 days, right? I'm going to be tracking that, okay? But for things like, uh, and for business, for me, it makes total sense, but so often people don't track their income and revenue generating goals. They want to fog out on it because, you know, maybe they're not doing as well as they, they, they want to be doing and they think not looking at it is going to be a solution. Not consciously. No one consciously thinks that. Okay. But that is the, 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 the result of an unconscious pattern, a subconscious pattern of not wanting to be disappointed, not wanting to feel pain, wanting to avoid pain. But guess what? That's short term versus long term. What are you what are you gonna feel like at the end of this year if you don't make your numbers? What are you gonna feel like at the end of five years if you don't grow your business to that next level? What are you gonna feel like at the end of your life if you haven't killed it in the way you individually want to kill it in life? Whether that's an impact goal or a legacy goal or or some way of, of having a relationship or showing up in life. Uh, in your beautiful, unique way. What is that? And then back engineer it. What, what are your short-term goals for that? And how are you going to put numbers to that? Okay? Because this happens life-wise, business-wise, all of it, across the board. You got to get real with your numbers. You have to make love to those numbers. You have to embrace them. You cannot be afraid of looking at your actual results okay and tracking them it's fun once you get started and this is one of those things oops there's noise in the background we're gonna wrap uh, this is one of those things that we're gonna be going into detail a lot at the unstoppable woman summit in November so check that out 
Have an awesome day, peeps. Rock it out. Bye.